Welcome back to the Modern Ham. Before we start, I just want to give a big shout out, as if I have to, the KI6NAZ Josh over at the Ham Radio Crash Course on YouTube. If you're watching this video, you know who he is. He's been doing this type of thing for the uh, with the Christmas light Santana for the past three years, I believe. And his videos are the ones that gave me inspiration to do this on my own. We're going to be creating the uh, Christmas light Santana, but we're going to take a bit of a spin uh, compared to what he usually does, which I believe he usually makes uh, it's like a simple dipole. If you watched my last video, you know I have some issues with um, the neighbors within the ham radio antenna. So this right here is kind of like a... Uh, a way to be creative on getting on the air right through the holiday season why not put some christmas lights out well as if that's actually going to work as well as a real antenna but you know we'll find out we'll play around with it and see what happens i have bought about 70 feet um two sets of christmas light incandescent christmas lights and uh, those just came in today so we're going to turn those into an infed half wave you all are not aware i own one of the mcom uh twos uh, portable two half wave antenna. I think this can also be used for a base station, but basically, uh, it, it think it does everything from I think 60 to 10 meters. Uh, I have to check the facts on that. I'll throw it up on the screen. Anyways, it does a lot, um, and that doesn't mean the SWR is great on all of these frequencies. But this is my preferred antenna, honestly, in most scenarios because I can throw it up into a tree. Well, the wire it ships with is some 70 feet odd. Uh, maybe a little lower um, strand of uh, wire as you can see right here and it does pretty good but why not take some of these Christmas lights about 70 feet of Christmas lights and actually screw it onto the antenna here that way we have some matching going on and a little bit of isolation from the transmission line um, and we might be able to actually tune these Christmas lights up on a few different bands uh, at least 20 and 40 hopefully because those are my favorites and we'll see what happens so we're going to cut these christmas lights up and we're going to wire them to the ballon here and we're going to string them up outside and see what we can do so i already know watching josh's videos on this matter uh, i could kind of see his facial expression when he talked about um, <laughs> unraveling some of the uh the wires on this christmas wire so i know already it's going to be a fun task but uh, so i've got two sets here and I believe each of these are about 35 feet each. So what I'm going to do is unravel each of these and then splice them together. Hopefully keep them untangled. And then we're going to uh, string them up to the, the uh, create an infed half wave and see what to do. So let's see what happens. I can already tell this is going to be a mess. And the worst thing that I can do is probably cut this in the wrong spot. I don't see how I'm going to make it out of this without destroying a light bulb or two. This is just a kind of a test run, you know, obviously the antenna's in the house, there's no counterpoise down, and there's only one <clears throat> length of wire, but we're going to see what happens when we tune up some FT8. Alright, so FT8 on 40 meters. <clears throat> As you guys can see, we have nothing. I'm going to tune up the antenna, see if it lights up when I tune. And I saw a little blink there. And just so you guys know, I am getting some reception um, reports in FT8 here. So I am getting a few codes. We're getting ready to transmit. We're going to see what this guy does. Alright, so we got a dimly lit, kind of dimly lit on 10 watts. Alright, so this is the other line of the cable. Let's see if we don't see any. Getting ready to transmit now. So I'm actually not seeing any lights up until about halfway through here interesting looks like mostly on the northeast coast and um, uh, also one down there in texas so actually not bad for what we have going on here all right so about to see 20 watts here on the beginning here in about five seconds or so oh that's a little brighter see how far down it goes here no, it's still only lighting up about halfway through. And that just could be, that's the only portion of the lights that it's using, right? All right, so we're about to see 40 watts. Hopefully nothing explodes. Oh, they're awfully bright. 
and it looks like they go down a little further and they're actually basically illuminating the room but I think we can go higher very bright eh, not very very bright but they're awfully bright so just because this is a max let's walk through and see how much of these are lit up all right let's see so it comes to about right here it's when we're fading off I'd say that's uh, about 25 feet so that is 40 watts pretty fun stuff huh I'm gonna let that transmit one more time just so you guys can see it three two one Ah, that's beautiful look at that look at that 60 watts 60 watts so uh, we could actually probably push this a little higher but I'm not going to I'm gonna wait till we get it outside and then I'm gonna start blowing things up I was filming I actually uh, looked like somebody actually replied to my CQ uh, from echo Mary 28 so that's cool that is a uh, I'll probably be reaching out to him just to let him know Alpha Echo Zero Sierra Bravo we'll have to kind of check that out see where they're located but I'm also gonna post a image that beautiful beautiful Christmas lights tis the season um, I'll post the image to the uh, PSK reporter kind of uh, show where we gotten out to this transmission but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this uh, QSO uh, with this individual here it looks like we're receiving everything appropriately uh, we'll try it again but the lights don't seem to be looking dimmer they seem to be doing okay so I think we're fine with uh, how much power that we're putting out here. You can definitely tell though that the lights are uh, absorbing quite a bit. Let's see if we can't complete this um, QSO with this individual here. If he goes for another round, I'll turn up my... There we go. Look at that. A Christmas light contact. I decided that I was going to um, take my stuff out a little further away from the apartment. Not just because, you know, the neighbor issue, but also... Um, you know the interference. I'm already using the lights as an antenna, right? So what if we can do to reduce that? Plus it might be fun, right? Um, there might be some passerbys that are curious on what's going on with the Christmas lights or and I can maybe talk to them a little bit about ham radio, but and hopefully it doesn't rain uh, The sky's looking kind of dreary. I thought I felt a drop, but if it's just a little bit I think we can handle that. But this is where we're gonna be set up Somehow that was even more of a mess than I thought it was going to be, or a hassle, but I just connected the radio. You know, I really like to get this Christmas lights off the ground a little bit more, but I'm worried about the tension that they already have on them. We do have a little bit of height there on the end, but yes, yeah, we're not trying to contact, you know, Asia or anything, so maybe this will work. Let's go ahead and uh, cross our fingers and try to tune this thing up on a couple bands and see if it doesn't work. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. CQ, CQ, CQ. November 7, Kilo Romeo 0. November 7, Kilo Romeo 0. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. That is correct. I am currently operating out of a park with a uh, Christmas light antenna. Yeah, QSO, you're about uh, 3333 here in Idaho. 
All right, and I am coming out of uh, Echo Mary 77 US in Richmond, Kentucky. So, all right, that's funny. This thing's kind of getting on the air. I see the light bulbs lighting up. It's a pretty neat little project here. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo. CQ, CQ, CQ. All right, so I forgot my uh, computer, so I can't do digital. That kind of sucks. But I did notice some interesting properties. Well, which are kind of obvious once you think about it. Uh, to this Christmas light antenna and when I had this halfway the whole thing would light but I assume it's taken most of the voltage um, there's a lot more lights now obviously the voltage is divided up a little bit more so not as many lights actually light up now as you go down in frequency to the longer you know wavelengths of the radio uh, more of the Christmas lights actually start to light up unfortunately the park is going to close at night so that 60 80 meter you know all that fun stuff we're not going to be able to really do that on these Christmas lights antenna at nighttime, which will be the light show that I was kind of thinking of in my mind. But we're still going to continue to work voice, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more contacts as people get back to me. I got you in about a 5.5 five here in Richmond, Kentucky. Alrighty, Roger, the 5.5 five, 55 here. Uh, Kilo number one, Mike Kilo Bravo, just making sure I type in your uh, call here. Correctly. Uh, yeah, you're about 5.7 here, 57. A little bit of QRM on the frequency, but uh, yeah, still uh, plenty readable. All right, Andrew, I appreciate you helping me out with this little project here. I didn't seem like anybody wanted to get back to me tonight. It's starting to get a little cold here at the park, so I was hoping we'd get something on the air here. Uh, didn't catch most of that. Uh, is your speech processor on right now? Uh, wait one. Yeah, I don't know. You're just, you're not quite coming through the noise real good. Uh, maybe turn your mic gain up a little bit. Your signal's plenty strong. It's just your audio is kind of low, and I'm having trouble hearing you over the noise that's already on this frequency. Hey, Andrew, this is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. How am I coming in now? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, go ahead. What were you saying? I was just saying, uh, I'm glad that you jumped on here because it was uh, it was kind of rough getting in contact. I, I can imagine maybe the, uh, the Christmas lights are... You know affecting your signal somehow but uh i'm having to you know kind of speak kind of loud make sure my power stays up there um i'm, I'm pushing as hard as i can here but uh how, how am i copying now uh that's a little bit better uh, i have like an s3 noise floor on this frequency but uh yeah no problem uh i'm glad to uh, help you out here with some stuff to make uh make sure you got it ready for your your video or whatever you decide to do with it um are you uh are you running uh, what antenna are you running now? Are you actually on the uh um was it Christmas lights you were gonna use? I sure am. I'd say uh, it's about 75 feet of Christmas lights. Uh, as I go down the frequency, more of these lights are actually lighting up. Right now, it's uh, it's mostly just the first quarter or so. But uh, it is just a uh, string of about 75 meters of Christmas lights strung onto my infant half wave. Thanks for the contact. Whiskey 8, India, Juliet, Charlie, this is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. I appreciate you for getting on the air with me. I'm glad I can make contact with you over the Christmas lights. Uh, I'm going to move on down to 80 meters and at least kind of give a light show. I don't know if I'll get any contacts, but I'll get more of the lights lit up. But, yep, thanks again for the contact and 73. I'll be clear. Yeah, move on down to the uh, the low frequency, uh, lower frequency probably. Uh, it's getting a little cold out here. It is starting to get a little dark, so I'm going to shout out a few more times, get this thing lit up, at least for the video. You know, if nobody calls back to me, that it is what it is. But um, we'll at least get it lit up, and then we'll pack up. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo calling CQ. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. This is a really fun experiment. Uh, there are, you know, a ton of different variables that come into play once you're playing radio and especially with the infed halfway. In essence, when we put the antenna up in the house, everything was a lot brighter and there's a lot more bulbs lit up, but it was only half of the length that it was once we put it outside and there was no real counterpoise. So there could have been some different uh, things that was going on there. The voltage was being divided up by more bulbs, uh, stuff like that. But the point of the fact is we were able to make a contact from Kentucky to Idaho and then a single sideband voice contact from Kentucky to Ohio, which isn't as big of a deal since it's a state over, but I'm sure we could have done a lot more if we were to play digital. We are going to, I'm not going to uh, throw these light bulbs away. Um, I'm actually going to try to do a live stream in the next week or two 
or three sometime sometime before christmas i'd like to get those christmas lights out on the deck and kind of decorate them and use those and we'll do a little ft8 and see if we can't make some contacts over a stream that way anyways i want to thank you guys so much for watching again make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video dislike the video if you don't like it i appreciate you guys and 73 to you